which category have you been judging? Illustration today. And uh, what what was the standard like? Do you think? I think the standard. To be fair, you know, we've got a great illustration kind of industry going on in this country, and you want to see most of that in, in D and It's probably not all there. So I'd say in some ways, to be fair, D and sometimes not representative of what's what's going on in illustration. But with, within that, there are some great stuff. There's some great stuff being entered, and um, I think on first impressions, it's a bit disheartening. And then when you look again, you realise that there's, there's some really groundbreaking work there. I just want to see more of it. But when you see the exciting stuff, I just think, why, why isn't there more of this here? And there's and what we're all those missing people who, who I know produce fantastic work. So that would be my criticism and my praise at the same time. And it, was that true of years gone by as well, do you think? Yeah, I think the last time I judged, I'd say exactly the same thing. And it, that was also a little bit disheartening that it's not changed too much. The one thing that it has been quite positive, it's a more international entry. So there seems to be work from lots of different countries, and that's, that's, kind of, that's something that you know, should be celebrated. So it's not too British. Yeah. And were there any trends you think you could see coming through the entries in the situation? Well, I think what happens in illustration is a lot of advertising companies put work into illustration and that, that tends to be a lot of pastiche work and sometimes not always the best work, ironically, but they're the ones that have the budget to do it, to enter. So they tend to swamp the illustration section with their work. Like I say, it's not always the best work. Sometimes it's very good, sometimes it's excellent. But a lot of the time it tends to be, oh, we need a, we need a kind of um, pastiche solution, we'll use illustration. And I wish that would change because that's not, again not really what, what's like what it's like down at ground level, street level in illustration. Yeah. I mean, are there things DNID can do? Do you think? To, well, to I've been trying to this? chat with the jurors about like what can we do because this isn't. It would be fantastic if it really was like more cutting edge and more, you know, appeal. Appeal. To, I don't think it's necessarily DNID's fault. It's about getting that information out. But it's also about motivating illustrators to want to enter and what is in it for them and why they should do it. And, I think a lot of the time, because illustrators are individuals, but often working individually, um, and less of a collective. I think you know, they maybe just it just doesn't maybe come into their radar enough. But it would be great if we could get the, the information out there. Say, look, this could be relevant, and this is relevant. And actually, we were just joking, saying, you know, maybe if um, you got a whole lot of. Japanese illustrators entering, it might kick us off the ass a bit, so, like, you know, because they've got fantastic work as well. If they entered it, we'd say, hold on, we can produce great stuff as well. So, yeah, something needs to change, and I, I really hope something does change for the illustration section, because if it continues the way it's going, it will die. It can't possibly, it is, it's been going all on on a plateau, and it's, it's, there's some, like, don't get me wrong, there's some lovely work in there, some groundbreaking work in there, but not enough. And did, were there big kind of arguments and debates over the work, or did it seem obvious which ones were the most striking? Um, I, I think there's a good lively debate. I think there's um, seems to be almost sometimes split into two two groups of yeah and nay. But I think the stuff that's good seems to slip in really quickly. And then yeah, there's a couple of a couple of issues where I was quite surprised. But I think that's very good. You know, where where it's. No, everyone isn't just agreeing, no one's billing, I'm not billing anyone to say <laughs> this is great. So people are, are um, not afraid to state, state their ground. And you might have something like one person sticking up for a one piece of work and no one else. And that's a good sign, that means everyone feels they can talk and, and you know say what they like and don't like. And that's a really healthy sign in judging. Yeah. Do you enjoy the whole judging thing? Yeah, I think it's really, um, I think it's a great thing to be part of. And, and um, in fact, it, make, it motivates me more to want to get illustrators much more involved in DNA D you, you almost forget how, how good it could be for them and, and how great our industry is and it's I want to, I want to kind of celebrate that more. I want to celebrate illustration within DNA D more. Um, no it's very it's, it's it's just a really good good experience and it's good good to hear people's opinions of you know what's out there and stuff. Yeah.